I have had several people ask me why I call the Seventh Day Adventist a religious cult. So rather than me putting my information about this out, let me just show you some things where you can make up your own mind. To me, a religious cult is a group of people who claim to be based on historical Christianity or historical truth, but they alter the person of Jesus Christ. In other words, in some way they change who Jesus is and what he has done. To me, they're like a belief looking for support. Rather than taking the Bible and interpreting what the Bible has to say about itself, they come up with these dreams and visions in their mind and then go try to find something in the Bible to support that. And many times it's just a matter of just twisting scriptures all it is. But let's look at the Seventh Day Adventists then and see how they alter who Jesus is and you make up their mind should they be called a cult. First of all, Christians say that Jesus is God. Seventh Day Adventists say no, Jesus is an archangel. Christians believe that atonement for sin was finished at Calvary. Seventh Day Adventists say no, atonement didn't begin until 1844. Christians believe that Jesus and Jesus alone bore our sins. Seventh Day Adventists say no, Satan bore our sins. Christians believe that Jesus, who is God, has always told us the truth. Seventh Day Adventists say no, they believe that Jesus withheld the truth until 1844 and then revealed truth to them. Which leads me to another thing about what did Jesus have to say about his second coming? Uh, something that the date setters and the Seventh Day Adventists apparently have not seen. Jesus said about his second coming in Matthew 24:36, but of that day and hour knoweth no man no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Ellen White, who is one of the founders of the Seventh Day Adventist, says, No, I know when Jesus Christ will return. It will be in 1844. No, 1845. No, 1851. Well, sorry, last guess. Now he will return in 1856. Of course, he didn't return in any of those years, did he? I have stated many times that SDA preached another gospel and another Jesus, a Jesus totally different from historical Christianity. I just presented my evidence that they are indeed a religious cult. Until next time, this has been Golly saying, God bless.